Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain about how to install, how to install Eclipse, Eclipse software. Okay. See, here we are installing a little old version compared to the new version. As a 2022, is a 09 package we are going to download and install. Here, how to download and install means just go to that Google and directly type Eclipse. Like here it is 2022 like hyphen 09. When you just give this, right, it will show that the current version also. Suppose I'm click on the first one, click on the first one, and here it is that new version is a 23 and 03, the released packages. But we are going with a little older version, no problem, anything you can install. See, suppose here is a Mac Mac operating system related things. Windows and Linux. Just here it is. I'm installing on my Windows operating system. So click on this one. Once you click on this one, then it will take you to the download area. Download area. Here, just click on this download, download option. So then here it is automatically download will start. You can see, you can see that it is downloading. It is taking some time. Just we are waiting until it is downloaded. Okay. See, once the download has been completed for installing, just click on this .exe file. Then automatically installation will start. As soon as it is completed, here it is go to the download area or directly you just click on this option. You can directly click on this option or here it is, go to that download area. Where it is downloaded, you can go. Here, I'm just click on this from here only. From here only, we are installing. The installation wizard it will show like this a very important point here while installing that eclipse it will show multiple options for java developers here in this installation wizard it will show that eclipse ide for java developers and please don't go with this option if you install this you cannot execute you cannot run server-side applications like servlets, JSP, Spring, and Spring Boot. If you want to run all types of applications, see Eclipse IDE for enterprise Java and Java web developers. Always go with the second option. Just click on this one. Then installation will start. Once you click on this, installation process will start. It will depends on your computer speed and it will depends on the data speed it will take the time for installing the process okay we'll we just wait until it is completed yeah. see once the installation has been completed then it is asking to launch so once you click on this one then automatically see here so whenever whenever you launch the eclipse it will ask the workspace so workspace means what it is a folder where where all your projects and all your applications will save. You can use the default workspace. No need to change this. If you want to change, you can just launch. Suppose if you don't want to do it, ask, I mean, do not ask it again, then just click on this one. Now here it is, just click on launch. 
workspace is written with a new version. See, I just installed that other thing, new thing. So that's why it is asking to change the workspace. No problem. Here, if you want to change the workspace, if it is not showing anything, just browse it. Browse. You can create any folder at any location. At any location. For example, in my E drive, in my E drive, I'm creating, I'm creating one folder, new, new, is my Java workspace, suppose. Here, create the folder and I'm selecting that folder. Now, I'm just going to launch. So now, all the applications what we are developing in the Eclipse will go and install into that folder. So we can create, we can create manually also. Right, see here. So whenever it starts, it is showing one welcome, welcome page. Just close that welcome page, not required. Here it will show that all applications, it will show here in a project explorer suppose in your system as soon as you open if this is not available right here search option is there search option so what is not visible in your eclipse directly you can search here the package explorer suppose if console is not available whenever you run the application you search console here everything just click on this one package explorer if you type if you click on this one automatically it will show here but anyway in this system it is shown but in some of the systems as soon as you launch the eclipse it will not show to those people it is useful okay so this is the simple way of installing once installation completed then you can develop core java projects advanced java projects as well as Spring applications also. Thank you all.